That's awesome. That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is, there, here, man. is it recording already? Yeah, it's already hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, well, my name is Mo Sadiq. Uh, this is my 2014 WRX hatch. Uh, I bought it brand new back in uh, September of 2013. Uh, I've had it ever since and uh, kind of done a lot to it since I've bought it. Uh, mainly cosmetic. I've got the 18 inch Enki Kojin wheels wrapped with the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. Probably the best tires I've had in a long time. Uh, I've got the windows tinted, the WeatherTech uh, window guards or rain guards with the Super Orium rack. I got vinyl wrapped that matte black to match the sides. I kind of got the white, black, and red theme going. I've vinyl wrapped the tail lights because didn't like the white chrome tail lights that it came with stock. So yeah, man, that's not 1998. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No more Altezes. <laughs> But yeah, and then also uh, just recently I got the headlights custom retrofitted with uh, the RGB Morimoto halos with 100 millimeter. Uh, the housing blacked out with the TSX clear lenses so I get a nice light output. Uh, went all the lights up front, went to the Nokia hyper yellows to kind of give that JDM yellow look. Hella super tones, uh, just kind of the basic Subi package, I guess you want to say. <laughs> so, Gotta have the mud flaps yeah, there, with the know. rally armor mud flaps, you can't go. That was probably, the, that was the first thing I bought was the rally armors. The mud flaps? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ever since I've gotten it just recently, I joined the Rain City Subis group, which is only a, about 78 members when I first joined and last check it was 888 now so it's getting to be a pretty big group over here I actually just this weekend installed the Carpoy short shifter which makes a huge difference and uh, did the black side badges with the red inlays on the WRX it's the vent vent vinyls the SPT exhaust clear bra I box sway bars with the Carpoy end links I also got the Perrin radiator shroud, radiator shroud and uh, alternator pulley cover combo. Yeah, right now I'm just saving up to do all those engine mods. It's going to be kind of a one and done. I don't want to do what they go, go all out with the intake, uh, headers, downpipe, all the way back, turbo back. It's just a fun car. Loved it since I bought it. Uh, just this type of car just makes you want to go for a drive. It's, it's, it's weird and hit those corners hard and something about these cars that make you want to do that. <laughs> Honestly, I like it a lot here in Washington because uh, uh, I'm kind of new to it, but it's all really, it's really mellow here. Everybody respects everybody else's cars, respects the mods that they do. Um, some people do some really unique stuff, which is freaking awesome. Uh, there's a lot of respect up here, I think. You know, it's more of a respect game up here than a hating game, in my opinion. So, <laughs> price was a big factor, because uh, that's one of the main reasons I didn't get an STI as well. Because uh, they just, when you go up to the STI and the Evo range, you're you're looking at an extra 10 grand on top of what you're already paying for a WRX, so. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> yeah, so. One of the big things that I know I want out of the STI that I don't have is probably the big brake kit, but anything's upgradable. <laughs> big money right there, right? Yeah, it is. That's another thing that it's probably going to be a while before I do that. <laughs> Stereo-wise, I just recently installed a it's an Alpine Type R 10-inch sub woofer with Alpine amp. Uh, I stuck with the stock head unit for now only because of the color scheme. I like the red. <laughs> I got the red illumination kit on the footwells too. So it's just all red and black inside. Dude, I love that thing. It, it pounds really hard for a little 10. And, uh, and what I kind of like about it is the hatch. You know, you feel everything inside the car and you can blast your music inside and it's not rattling your license plate off on the outside. So it makes it nice. Honestly, I, first I was thinking about, I was originally gonna go with the sedan and then uh, my buddy, he had the 09 hatch. So I started digging through his and it's just so economical <laughs> for, for use. I mean, uh, I've already transported a 65 inch, or no, 
it was a 60 inch 60 inch TV in this thing and if I had a sedan I wouldn't have been able to do that and just all the extra things you can do with the <laughs> with the uh, with the hatch honestly I like the look of it too it just gives it a different look too um, I know I've been eyeballing uh, if I, if I could get my hands on one, it would be a, I think a 06 or 07 Forester XT. I really want one of those. Yeah. When I was originally buying this car, it was only two colors I wanted. Number one was the white, number two was the rally blue. And uh, luckily, the taste, man. <laughs> yeah. and then uh, at whichever one I found first, that's what I was going to get. So I ended up finding the white first over in uh, Subaru of Auburn, Mike's car Subaru. And, uh, it, I saw it online, it came off the truck Thursday. I, I think I went that Friday, right after work, and if they had it, I was gonna go home with it. <laughs> I had my mind set. <laughs> Rub it up like a man! <laughs>